Hey guys, it's your show, the program where a bunch of fun people have a great time looking at each other in the same room and laughing and making jokes all in the same room, guys. And we're all in the same room and we're being socially distant while we're all in the same room with Maud Garrett in the same room. Everybody, welcome our special guest, Maud Garrett, who's in the same room with all of us. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, and by the way, if you become a patron of the Valley Folk, you can submit questions for us or prompts or yeah. all sorts of silly stuff. And that happens. Happens all through Patreon. So go to patreon.com slash the valley folk and you can see all the fun stuff that happens there. We're all in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, this is a would you rather from Orange Bread. Would you rather not be able to tell the difference between babies and muffins for five minutes after you sneeze? <laughs> okay. Or every time you blink, you have to keep your eyes closed for three full seconds before you open them again. Uh, oh, I my that's first one. God, How many times are you guys sneezing? It's the baby oh. one. Yeah, dude, I'll eat a couple babies. I don't even really hunger for muffins. Can I just be honest with you guys? I don't have a hunger for muffins. If they're there, I'm like, cool, muffins. What else You're we got? You're not a muffin man. Yeah, I'm not a muffin. <laughs> yeah. Actually, hi, uh, just really quick, I'm legally obligated to explain to you all what's going on here today. So m for me, I have a thing where I, any anytime I sneeze, which isn't very often, but I have to tell you this anyway. Brag. Every time I sneeze, I confuse babies for muffins. Now, two important things here. Number one, I don't particularly like babies. And number two, I don't really like muffins. So no one's going to be affected by this. If I happen to sneeze and you have a baby, the only thing that will happen, and I can guarantee to you this, is I will think, huh, that's a weird muffin. And then... Three seconds later, I'll remember the difference between muffins and babies, and everything will be okay. Pardon me, guys. I'm still uh, listening, but uh, I'm going to have a little bite to eat really quick. Just keep talking. I don't mean to be <laughs> rude or anything. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no, him. Ooh, that's a big tell baby. <laughs> oh. What is that, a muffin? Um, there is something scarier, though, when you sneeze, um, and that is sneezing when you're in your 30s uh, because you could throw your back out. Yes. I don't know if you guys have that yet or when it started happening, but when oh, I it's go, true. I'm like, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it could just be like today. Anxiety <laughs> Not again. Yeah. <laughs> it could be today. I like that. Because also... I've done that before. I'm like, oh, shit, no. You can also <laughs> get a hernia. Yeah. And stop. you can also yeah. uh, I've, I've, like, get a prolapsed a rectum. Doing. Like uh, just on the right side, just a bit like, Kuh! and it's like, oh, good. <laughs> ha! So well, I'll eat a baby. Like, that's probably the least stressful part about yeah. the whole thing. And who hasn't? Right? I mean, I'll eat a baby. I'll eat a baby. You get away with one or two before they really start coming after you. Mm. Everyone's what? like, Maud, why do you look so young? Because I had a baby. Yeah. The worst part it's about Hollywood, eating baby. a baby you get that young blood. is the nightmares. One time. Oh, no, that's actually going to probably start conspiracy theorists putting me on the list of... Oh, well, yeah, you you're, know, you're definitely a baby that eater. Yeah. Drink the, the, well, baby's Ma, blood. The four of us have been joking about eating a baby for the past 15 minutes, so we're all going to be on the same list. Okay, and you know what? Exciting. If we're going to go down for something, let's go down for something we actually care about, you know? No, but, yeah. hey, hey, hold I, on a second. I once hold ate on, a baby so on, good on. that the chef Nobody. came out and he kissed his There's a lot of baby eating stuff going on. around here. Hold on. I heard the thing. What? Nobody cares about <laughs> baby eating. Nobody cares. Lots of people care about baby eating. Tweet it. Could, Tweet it right now. I could, I'll prove it to I you. I could care. Prove it to me. How are you going to prove it? We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to prove it. No, We're no. Still I'll prove game. it. Before yeah, this okay. episode ends, I will prove it. <laughs> okay. Right here, Steve. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, no, what the hell was that? Actually, uh, on that note, can you give me like 40 seconds? I f***ed up. Let's check too that everybody's still recording. <laughs> oh no. Those oh, chairs no. that gamer people have always look so fun. I. <laughs> They don't look comfortable to me, and they never have. I know. I can only assume what they are, though, right? They're yeah. comfortable. They're so yeah. popular. They're very. They comfortable. were. 
They were all given to the gamers. Like, I don't think one gamer has yeah. ever bought that chair. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Because it's kind of a ridiculous of thing to buy. They gave their product away. They gave it away. Oh, no. All right, sorry, I'm back. <gasps> well, who's that, Mod? Who oh, this? Oh, oh, my goodness. Whoa, what's that name? Who's that champion? Jodo. Is that Zelda? This is, this is Zelda. Jodo. Oh, Zelda would come bumper. into the office from time to time, actually. Mont, have you found that Zelda is getting more attached to you, or is it because um, there's been reports of dogs getting more attached to people in the quarantine? Uh, yes, but also inconvenienced by me um, at this really? stage, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Like, kind of annoyed, kind of over you? Yep. Mont, does the dog ever watch Law & Order? Because there's been some reports that dogs are starting to watch more Law & Order. <laughs> I read that report. That's true, yeah. Yeah. I read that. Well, it's everything that's going on, yeah. It's... Weird, I didn't know that, but yeah, she'll be like... What? Come on, guys. We're, we're, we're really passing on paw in order right now. Yeah! Come on. Did Elliot actually have like an upchuck <laughs> reflex from that? Did, he, did you throw up in your mouth? What if Elliot vomited all over himself? That's <laughs> what I saw. I saw was like, Whoa. I thought it was great. Porn order is amazing. Can we, okay, and okay. that's like the rest of my lockdown can, sorted. Can, can we just when when we're <laughs> when we're done, Elliot, would you put like soup in your mouth and just vomit it onto your shirt in a, <laughs> yeah. in a quick time recording just so we can cut to that. Like, are we just spit? Is there something you can spit on your shirt? Sure. Mon, tell us more about this new show that I saw that you're doing. Was that filmed before quarantine? Yes, I'm on The Great Debate, um, yeah. which, I mean, I know that it will have already happened. Um, and I filmed that, I think, about five days before lockdown came into wow. effect. Wow. So we had to get our temperatures Whoa. measured going in there. Everyone else was kind of like already masked up. Um, a lot of the uh, big names that they had in store actually pulled the plug because it was right when like the hysteria was about to take off and some people Whoa. just didn't want to be on a set with like, you know, it was supposed to be a studio audience and it was only the crew um, that were like clapping and cheering on. So that was a little bit strange as well. Um, but it's a really fun concept. So sci-fi have done a lot of panels at conventions, especially Comic-Con, um, all about the great debate where you're supposed to sort of, you know, fight out the this is and that's of the geek realm. Um, and I champion that The Princess Bride is one of the most quotable movies of all time. And to prove my point, I will say, have fun storm in the castle. Think it'll work? It'll take a miracle. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. um, Bye-bye, boys. Have fun storm in the castle. Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye-bye. Yeah, and that um, one of the other questions from mine is, what is the best movie snack? And I kind of want to put it to you guys. Oh, what great. You think it would be. Oh, I don't perfect. think there's a debate here. It's popcorn, right? I'm 100% on the popcorn train. Popcorn yeah. train, only butter added, no salt. I'd say no butter. Sometimes I just like what? it. What? I don't like my hands Why? getting all greased up during a movie and shit. That's exactly what I like. <laughs> I want my hands to be greasy and disgusting and yeah. I want to fall asleep halfway into it because of all the buttery popcorn I ate. I don't yeah. want to be able to grip the hand rests and get up easily. I want to slip <laughs> right out. <laughs> I remember I, someone once saying that a whole bucket of popcorn was equivalent to like two quarter pounds or three quarter pounders or something. But who can eat that? Do you eat the whole thing? Oh, yeah. I think that's part of the fun is I like leaving half of it. Oh no, I eat, eat the, the whole, whole goddamn thing. thing, yeah. You guys are savages. I'll, I'll swallow the kernels. I do like uh, nachos a lot, but I know they're not good. You're I a like monster. the fact, yeah, and I like that the cheese, you have to peel that thing off the little vat of cheese that came from no. God knows where that was under a heating lamp. No, under no. The only, You're disgusting. The only, the only movie theater food that That's is not acceptable. true. I'm not. I'm a human being and I love my nach my dirty nachos. <laughs> dirty nachos are fine. Dirty nachos are fine. Whatever. I agree with Joe. It's a little gross. It's all about the popcorn or the hot dog, and maybe like dog. some raisinets or like an yeah. M&Ms or some shit. Well, I, I feel like I will have Steve's side in this because the worst thing about the movies is when you get locked on to a noise. And that noise is the, oh, well, that's one. Is the, you just ripped a mask off of a man He's screaming. What is happening? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, yeah, um, I hate it, um, hate it. Um, yeah, and yeah, so yeah, when yeah, that yeah, starts happening, 
I have no idea what's going on in the movies. Yeah. I'm yeah. locked onto that person and every little bit. And it's like when you take nine full seconds to get a handful of whatever, like that's too long. Got to yeah. get the perfect piece. It's got to be piece. like the claw. You've just got to go in and out and grab your, <laughs> grab your business and then eat it softly. But even crunching, like if there's any crunch going on, that is not I agree. acceptable. Which I agree. is why I champion that mm. red wine is the best snack to have in the Oh, movies. okay. That's, that's not a snack. Snapball from an alcoholic. I don't think Boy, that's a snack. Friend, you just took the card and then you just went into the other lane. I don't know if I can handle that. You got the red wine in your cup and then you're asleep by the third act. Yeah. Can't do that. And even, do you know how I lasted through cats, Steve? By asleep sleeping? by the third act. <laughs> I seem to remember there being a bottle of wine. I drank a bottle of red wine. My favorite part of watching Cats with Maude drunk off of her ass was when we got to memory. Anytime she sang memory, Maude would go, memory! <laughs> the only word I knew. It's the only word I knew. She's like, memory. It was the best. The fucking Wait. memory. Maude, were you there for the legendary Bruce Green fart? No, she wasn't at that oh, one. Oh, man. That Anthony one. Carboni was there though. We'll have to talk to Anthony about that. There was a legendary fart during Cats, and if you've heard <laughs> tell, it's because it was amazing. We actually have uh, Anthony Carboni in uh, on location in his apartment right now. We'll cut to a clip. Further point on the popcorn thing. I would much rather hear somebody searching for the perfect piece of popcorn for far too long than somebody getting the like the last bits of rem remnants from like a candy bag. That's when it's loud. Somebody trying to get that last yeah. Sour Patch Kid or Red oh. Vine. Also, don't get Red Vines. Are you a f***ing monster? What? What? What's wrong with Red Vines? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. I agree Everything. with Elliot. What's wrong with Red Vines? I think hey. you have to you have to weigh how much you're paying for movie um, prices and movie concession prices versus what you're getting for it. And you should never pay more than like cents for Red Vines. Oh, I'm buying the Costco Red Vines and getting a grip full and putting them in my jacket pocket. <laughs> Just I'll tell you why Red Vines <laughs> suck. Free. Because... When there's a communal red vines jar, hmm. it's always nearly full. I know, that's true. I'm remembering I brought in one of those giant red vines into the office <laughs> and not one was <laughs> eaten from it and they got hard and just- They're yeah. trash. <laughs> it's trash candy. Oh, so guys, you hear that? You hear that sound? That sound, that music that just came in, that indicates it's the end of the show. Thanks for watching today. Oh. There's another indicator. Elliot's uh, video has been replaced with majestic horses in a field. Oh, there's another oh. indicator of the show. Steve's video just did 17 star wipes. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. We appreciate it. If you want to see more and want to what support what we're doing, go to patreon.com slash the valley folk. And also, I'd like to thank Mon Garrett, our amazing guest today, that just infused this with new life and new blood. And I thank her so much. Maude, where can people find you? I'm at Maud Garrett on all social medias and Geek Bomb on YouTube. Give us a follow because I do a show where I talk about nerd stuff. Get out, right? <laughs> That's her catchphrase. Get out, right? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> By the time it's five minutes, like if someone's trying to take the muffin from your mouth, but you're like, mm, but it's so good, I'm going to keep eating it. And then after that five minutes, there's just an obliteration of like baby body parts and blood all over your face. Because you yeah. absolutely consumed a, a baby in those five minutes because you couldn't stop eating yep. the muffin, even though people were yep. trying to pull the muffin from you. <laughs>